So here we are with the Customers Harrier CBHQ base station, which he bought off eBay and had shipped straight to me. Uh, it was pretty well spot on, but I was just able to bring <coughs> bring up the detector on receive. Um, and we've changed the capacitors in the power supply. And the fact you're viewing this today, when you look at the previous video, we ended the video with the capacitor not being changed in the power supply because I'd run out of stock. Um, when Mr Chippy uh, came from wherever he was, um, I asked him if he uh, knew of a stash and he says, yes, I know where there's two. Uh, Mr Chippy, I think we've got some illegal activity going on in a foreign country. Would you like to pop it up to 33 over? Yeah, I can hear it as well. Okay, right, well, I'm the Harrier CBHQ base station, the customer's one, and uh, let's go for it. Roger that, right, well, we're just coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you, uh, fine. Roger, what did you do, lose the mic? No, I was adjusting the squelch control and there's still a bit of interference. Oh dear. It's nice to see a big meter. I don't normally see a meter this big. Roger on that. Right, we're now passing Ancaster service station. Roger got you at Ancaster service station. So what isn't ready is the factory original microphone, so we're using standing replacement. So there's nothing I can do about that, that's been through the dishwasher and the uh, some of the bits inside are, are still drying, so uh, that's not a test we can do. Right, we're now going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford, and this radio is doing a full four watts out, but over. Roger, got you going over Wilsford level crossing. Don't forget the Kelby one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're now the Kelby turn. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Roger got you at the Grayleys turn. Roger got you going over Rawspeed level crossing, that concludes the test, and that's fine, thank you. 10 10. Right, we'll pop that back down to 31 for our test of the base station. So I say we can't use the factory original mic on this occasion because it won't be dry really till tomorrow. I want to also change the front filter by making a new one in the mic because uh, it's just got a sponge. So that's just something, uh, but I think you heard the Harrier original mic yesterday. Uh, on the um, on the CBX that we did, so there we go. That's uh, you know a nice set is bought. It was sold as serviced, and it was indeed sold as you know it was serviced. And although I can make adjustments, you know I, this the, I could I could do a set today myself and adjust it again tomorrow. So you know these things happen. So um, it's a nice radio, and I'm sure you'll get decades of pleasure out of that. So we'll go over to our base station. And we'll see what the Harrier CBHQ sounds like on our Harrier CBHQ. Tango Twenty One testing the customer's Harrier CBHQ from 1981 with a standard replacement microphone into our Harrier CBHQ, also from 1981. Once again, 
1-2-3-4-5-5-4-3-2-1 and thank you for watching.